All right, all right. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chad. We're back at it again. Uh, it is January, and it is 2016, and we're getting it done here with that unit and rune showcase. So uh, for all those that are new to the channel, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, every so often here after the uh, post, you know, rune removal, I generally make a video um, to kind of showcase the units of runes, talk about uh, my theories, my thoughts about what I'm going to be doing uh, for this upcoming month and talk about maybe different compositions that I'll be going ahead and utilizing. I've uh, been doing that for quite a few months now. Um, I'm very excited to see that there's a lot of more YouTubers that are kind of coming on board and showcasing their uh, units of runes every month, uh, generally after the rune removal. Uh, I love what I see. So big shout out to all the YouTubers and streamers that are doing that because that has to be like the number one question that I've been getting asked um, since June of 2014. Every single time I get a new unit out there um, that's doing, you know, either crazy damage or crazy stats, it's like, okay, how do you have it ruined? What's your stats? What's your stats? What do you got going on? So uh, really big shout out for all you guys that are doing it. And uh, all right, let's get to it. So I uh, failed when to collect my stuff, but we'll go ahead and get right into it. Uh, let's see here. So uh first and foremost we'll start with you know obviously we're going to start with we're going to go through all the units um we'll be i'll be real quick with the um, conversation on the units that didn't change but the units that have changed a little bit or got tweaked a little bit um then we'll go ahead and talk about that so first one uh megan i did not touch her for rune removal um but i, I ain't gonna lie a lot of the units that i messed around with got changed way before uh rune removal even came on board so her stats are not really good but she's sitting at violent 200 speed violent will um, reason being is because I use a double Lucian combo okay and I use her for dragon speed 10 and the value of having um, a 200 speed Megan on violent uh, when it comes to dragon speed 10 is really really strong because her uh, the uh, how do I say the skill the AI of Megan Bella and any other unit has the buff removal the toll poison or that you know uh, the seize with Bella um, it's, it's a little bit more conditional. It's going to cast it on the boss, um, you know, when it's available, uh, when, when, the, when the beneficial effect's available. So it works a little bit better in your favor. So having uh, a violent spec Megan means you're going to get this skill up more times than not. And if uh, Bella's is not available, then this one should be available. And so it's going to help me get the job done. In addition, we got the will set on here. Uh, when I'm running um, reset hour and whatnot, I'm going to be fighting a lot of you know, random teams and whatnot, but I do find a ton of Leo-based teams. And with Leo-based teams, um, my Bernard uh, Megan Devolution comp still does a hell of a job. And so I want to make sure that um, Leo doesn't uh, reduce the attack bar on Megan so that when I buff with Bernard, then Megan follows after, I still can um, get the buff I need to get the job done. Because if, if I didn't have the will, um, Megan would go down in the attack bar and then my Lucians would go without the attack buff. So... I'm not in, not putting a, a use to the um, to the Zhao Lin for right now. We're putting her on the back burner. Um, I love the unit. I love the the skill set and whatnot. But right now, the overall, I mean, the the only downside to her has always kind of been is her overall um, base stats. I just feel like her base stats. Are, I'm just not getting value out of my runes um, when it comes to that. Um, but I really like her skill set. Um, I did have an extra uh, despair uh, blade set, but you're gonna see later on down the road, you know, where that went. So. Uh, Kaz uh, made some changes. Um, this is the Swift Blade set, uh, a combination of some of the Swift Blade um, runes that we had. This was a new rune there that I just recently got, and then this one was an old, old rune. You, you, you know it's old rune because you you you've plus fifteen a uh, a rune that's like the, these stats right here are just not good at all. I made a comment. I made a comment on my uh, in my guild when I uh, up, up, updated this on Rune Mova Day because I needed I needed the Blade rune on the six slot. And this was the only blade rune I had, and these stats are horrible. But I was like, whatever. Like, I'm not gonna sit here with a plus 14 rune. Um, <laughs> I mean, I could have, but I just, I, I just knew the stats that I kind of wanted overall attack and crit damage and whatnot. Um, I had, a, I had, a, I had to max it out, and I told the guys, only God could judge me. Okay, please don't judge me because that's a pretty bad one there. That's a pretty bad one. So. Uh, yes, one of the most sought after units um, that people ask me about. Uh, we got ourselves Chandra. Chandra's runes have not changed, but the uh, stats of him have changed due to the grindstones that we'd be getting in R3, R4, and R5. Um, slowly but surely, they're going to come on board. Um, just, just like not even five minutes ago, um, I just um, got an enchant gem. 
uh, to change something to a speed from 5 to 8. That was a hero one, and it went to 8 and maxed out. So I'm really excited about that because this guy has no speed. Um, so that was like a 40% increase in his bonus speed, right? That's that's epic. <laughs> that's epic. Uh, Sigmaris, no changes to him. Um, attack or damage attack. He could be used in, you know, Dragon's Vitae. could be used in a lot of things, but I, mas I basically use him for secret dungeon farming. That is pretty much it. Um, another one of my pride and joys uh, with respect to Chandra, too, is now Tyron. Tyron is um, a despair, broken, um, despair, broken, blah, 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 blah. Despair, broken, attack, uh, speed crit damage attack, okay? I use this in a lot of speed comps. I use this in my original Guild Wars team with uh, a, a, a YOLO comp with CC. Uh, it was uh, Tyron, Orion, and... Um, Veramos, if you guys remember that from the Guild War videos, um, but now Tyron gets used in a multitude of you know, ways, but generally in the PvP aspect, um, he's going to be uh, leading off, you know, Tyron, Bernard, plus whatever combination I want to use, Veramos, Theo, Orion, Theo, whatever two units that I want to throw in there after Tyron and Bernard, that generally I can make it do what I do. Um, it really doesn't matter what I do, but uh, overall, I mean, I love it. Uh, the attack that I have on him is 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 relative to the attack that somebody would rock on the attack, you know, crit damage attack, but I've been able to improve his um, attack here and there to allow me to, um, you know, play catch up with, you know, the losing the attack on the speed rune here. So it's really nice. Um, obviously, you know, it really just depends on what you're kind of going with as far as what you want to do. But for me, um, I have a lot of different yolo based comps that really rely on a speedy Tyron. So I value a speedy Tyron with an opportunity to proc stun with his despair set because he has two skills. Um, I really like that. I doubt I'll, you'll ever see me change him for the worse. He'll always just improve these runes uh, for the better. I know that some people have played around with a violent set despair, or sorry, a violent set Tyron way down the road, but I'm, I'm a big, big fan of despair um, with units that have two AoEs. So um orion gosh orion this is again i'm so excited to show you guys this for those that have been watching this every single month you guys have seen him climb up slowly and slowly and slowly and so this month there was no rune removal changes all the things were fine but as you can see um the majority of the runes uh three or four of the runes here have speed improvements this is actually a new rune as of two weeks ago plus 21 speed i was and then i was able to get a plus five uh, speed boost on this one. So I had a broken rune in there and then approved that. So he went from 213 to 234 in a matter of two weeks with no uh, no rune removal changes. Basically one rune change and then everything else has been grindstone. So again, guys, um, if you are at the end of your game, you know, if you're at that end game where you have all the runes that you want and you're sitting really good, you know, definitely get into that rifting, get into that R3, R4, R5 and, and don't, um, don't, uh, don't worry about it if you if you only can do R3 or whatever like that. All these plus two to three bonus speeds that, that are not, it's not like a hero rune, but hey, two to three speed adds up, as you can see right there, all right? Um, no changes to Theo. Theo's still pimping, okay? Attack or damage attack on a Violent Revenge um, could go a multitude of ways, but Revenge set on a unit that has elemental advantage over everybody to me is pretty OP. So I love it when I go into compositions that, you know, attack me, multiple times um, when I'm rifting I use him on R4 with um, Hua and those are my two damage dealers and every time the boss is an AoE um, you know hits me three or four times if he's not stunned um, he's gonna hit back you know obviously it's not gonna be strong if he has debuffs but it is pretty legit it is pretty legit chilling 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 okay so I haven't made any changes to chilling unfortunately uh, we have ourselves I think it's attack or damage HP or attack or damage attack yeah, attack or damage attack. Um, I have not um, buffed up him in any way because I don't want him to do more damage than my uh, fire-based uh, damage dealers. And so basically, I just threw the the <clears throat> you know random runes on there just to fill out for Violet Revenge. Uh, extremely strong in Necropolis. Uh, can be can be doable in um, in Dragons V10 uh, with the, with the right comp. Let's give a quick shout out for all those that might be new to the series, an up and coming um, streamer and now YouTuber, Julie EU. Julie EU made a really cool video um, showcasing her Dragons B10 team. So, Julie, if you're watching this, uh, thank you for making that. It was very entertaining. And I hope you guys get the opportunity 
uh, to check out more of her videos. Her link should be in down in the description down below. Hashtag name drop. All right. And then we got ourselves Galleon. Okay, Galleon. No changes. Uh, actually, we, we didn't have any changes recently. Um, but we did remove one of his runes like three, two or three weeks ago to give Hua more hit points. He used to have uh, this rune right here. And now I just slapped on this rune because I wanted Hua to have a little bit more HP. And of course, it worked out for the better because, you know, when Rifty came on board, it was understandably... It was undeniable that Hua was a you know viable you know, a big big component of my thing. Um, the speed is nice. Uh, I definitely want to improve the speed just a tad, but overall I'm happy with going um, speed, uh, HP attack, the HP, the attack power on here. Uh, I'm a big big fan of Violent you know Revenge on this one, but if you can go Violent Focus and and go with that hybrid setup without you know putting accuracy on six, I do find more value in that because this guy can hit hard, guys. You max him out. He hits hard. Uh, if you've seen my Guild War videos, um, anywhere from uh, 12 to 17k on the defense broken unit, he can hit. Okay, so definitely, you know, focus on him as far as getting, you know, the stats that you want. Um, but yeah, okay, don't ask me what I'm doing with Roker. I basically just put a random fatal uh, revenge set on him just to have more units for the world boss. Um, but who knows, maybe one of these days I'll dick around <laughs> and play around with him in the arena like I did back in the day. Um, let's see. Uh, Hua is Violent Revenge, and she is Speed, Attack, Attack, okay? So, this one's kind of interesting. It's funny because I, I ended up, like, I was Violent Broken, Violent Shield, and then I ended up going Violent Revenge, not specifically for any kind of intentions, but it just kind of worked out the way it did with regards to the runes that I won. I definitely wanted to, when I was Violent Shield, I definitely want to switch him out with this particular rune because I needed him to have the attack power that I want, but then I wanted to have the hit points that I want. Um, you know, when you're when you're playing around in the R5 farming zones, you just you definitely want yourself on your damage dealers. Uh, you know, 18, uh, 18k minimum. You know, I feel that's really really strong. I see a people dropping a little bit in the hit points. Um, you know, the upwards of like the you know 14, 15, 16k. But some of those guys are rocking like a hybrid format with like a defense rune. So obviously that makes up for the damage. But me, I'm not using a defense rune, so I'm focused on keeping my hit points as close to. 20k as possible and of course even though she is uh just under 20k you know with my hit point tower and everything all calculated she is above the 20k mark so it's really good it's really good um clara she did uh i did make some changes she was rage blade last time but i i took off one of her um blade runes and you know mix it around so i got this nice little rune here that i need to max out um i was kind of excited for that i i find i i, I looked at this and i told myself that Something tells me that this blade rune is gonna make its way over to my um, over to my Charlotte. So don't be surprised, right? Don't be surprised if if this blade rune is is by the time you see this video, this blade rune is gone is on Charlotte because Charlotte made some changes. Um, let's see, but overall, I mean, this is a great unit with with the Chloe combination. It keeps her alive for that first turn so that I can get my 100% uh, crit and hit him. But again, I wasn't really too thrilled about the damage. Of course, this unit is not maxed out in skill, but I'm generally hitting anywhere from six to seven K per um, card or per spinning circle. And, you know, obviously that's, you know, 21 K, that's nothing to be, you know, upset about, but I really thought it was gonna be a little bit more damage considering the fact that I'm rocking 190 crit damage with two K attack. Really wasn't too impressed, but again, uh, you know, using this with a with like a fast, you know, comp to generate the first turn or a Chloe comp to prevent yourself from doing damage so you can guarantee yourself the maximum uh, critical chance, then yeah, I do like it. Uh, Spectra, a little bit of a change, nothing crazy. Swift Blade, uh, speed, crit rate, accuracy. The goal is to get as much crit rate as possible, as much speed as possible, and as much accuracy as possible. Um, crit rate to make sure that I crit on the second skill on the boss. The accuracy to make sure I land my third skill um, to slow down the towers. And it just so happened that I was able to keep more or less the same speed, but now I can actually incorporate a, a subset. I was able to put the blade on there. Um, you can see right here the hit points, trying to get the hit points where I can. Um, a little bit here and there, not too much, but trying to keep him over um, 20k hit points when all uh, HP towers and everything's all factored out, because that, that's, that's where I live with that particular unit. Um, Draco. No big changes, just despair broken with speed, hit point, hit point. Uh, I use him in the Guild Wars and Arena. More Guild Wars than Arena with uh, Chandra and uh, Bella. 
I love the double attack bar boost, uh, I'm keeping it real with that. Low accuracy, but uh, because of the fact that this fair set is not based on accuracy, it's just a straight 25% chance to stun, I'm not worried about accuracy on this particular unit. Um, great, great unit overall if you guys have it uh, available to you. Um, obviously, my stats were a little bit low, but I'm, I'm more focused on speed, getting him, keeping him over 200 speed so I can keep up with the Guardian 3 guilds out there. Uh, yeah, buddy. All right, here we go. Like a little bit of a change, a little bit of a change. So overall, attack power um, is the same. The speed dropped down 10, but the critical rate and the critical damage has improved immensely. So as you guys heard earlier, I was talking about a violent shield set. This shield rune was on Hua, but I moved it over to him. I dropped down the speed a little bit. Uh, because he is now, he's a little bit farther away from Theo. I used to use a Theo like a, com like a combo, uh, but I, I now I use him. I still use a Theo like a combo, but I use it um, with an attack bar booster like Orion. So I'll rock in my Guild War um, offense. I'll go Theo, Orion, Leica. So I will still um, have the attack bar boost and, and have everybody been, been pushed. So I'm not too concerned about having... Um, you know, the exact amount of speed on him. So because I don't want the exact amount of speed, I want his speed to be close to Theo's, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if you guys remember, I had literally the exact speed on him, but now that I'm using an attack bar, um, everybody's getting pushed. So he's going to go if the other opponent doesn't have an attack bar booster. And so because of that, I wanted to figure out what I can do to improve his critical damage and his critical rate because he was at 59 critical rate and about 159 critical damage. Um, I am excited to show you guys the next Guild War video um, with like 180 critical damage with 2k attack, this dude is going to hit hard. Um, I love it. I love it. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Um, all right. Uh, epic fail. Okay, so this is the epic fail for me. I know you guys are like, epic fail what? No, no, no. So Colleen has been, um, you know, just sitting. Uh, my second while my Colleen have been sitting at 5 star forever because I can farm um, Necropolis B10 with um five star you know certain five star units um and the reason being is guys like all myself as well as all the youtubers say out there all the people on the educate and dominate is all about the runes the runes make the units not the units make the runes okay you put the high quality runes on whatever unit you're gonna get the stats you want and even though these stats are okay you know i'm saying you can see i'm going to heap hit, speed hit point defense um i at five at five star right at five star i was at 21k with that like 600 to 700 defense like his stats really weren't too bad um for r4 r5 but i don't want to be that guy that stubborn guy um that was you know gonna be gambling on you know keeping my comp alive because my calling you know could have had better stats at six star but you know i was too cheap to like make it up to six star so i eventually got up to six star uh violent revenge speed hit point defense and the reason why i'm going defense is because i need the speed uh, I don't have any more speedy runes, so I'm using the comps that I can now. Um, let's let's talk a little theory graph here. Let's talk a little theory graph now. Uh, we talk a little bit about um, Colleen and how people use it in the uh, rifting. You see a lot of comps uh, with a double re revenge nemesis set. You see a lot of comps with a violent revenge. Um, in this particular instance, I think that both are extremely strong. Um, if you are going with a, a double revenge nemesis. You definitely want to make sure you're over 200 speed. I mean, you always want to be over 200 speed, but because you don't have the ability to get additional turns, you definitely want those 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 turns to be consistent and quick. So 200 speed is going to be you know optimal with the double revenge nemesis. I tried it, and it, I just found that I found more value in my composition to rock a violent set um, over um, a double revenge nemesis set. And actually, Forrest and I and I were talking about this on the side. He agrees with me because. Um, you know, a lot of different compositions that the people bring, they have maybe two or sometimes even more units that provide um, a hit point to serve, right? They come with a Brian or with a Diaz or whatever. I have no hit point to serve with the exception of this particular unit. So, <coughs> excuse me, with what I'm providing to the, uh, with what I'm providing to, um, you know, my teammates, when I don't have a lot. So I need to have a violence set on him to get the opportunity to practice, uh, you know, a lot. And in addition, um, you will see me use this in the Guild Wars. I feel like his stats are good enough to be that nice healer to come on board with a variety of units. So uh, I will be using it in the Guild Wars just, just for fun, but it is set up for rifting. Uh, Violent Revenge, Speed, Hit Point, dif Defense. Um, you can obviously go Speed, Hit Point, Hit Point. It really doesn't matter. I just need to make them as fast as possible, as tanky as I can, 
and um, get the you know accuracy as high as possible. This is not good accuracy here, but it's the best I can do while maintaining these kind of stats and this kind of resistance. Okay. Um, let's see. So, oh yeah, Vanessa. Vanessa's up. Um, Vanessa, yes. So we had to make a change for the worse on Vanessa, in my opinion, right? Um, we had ourselves violent guard with uh, HP defense, HP to take advantage of the um, Chasun on my arena defense. Uh, but as I've, I've told you guys many, many times, and this is a great lesson to anybody listening, watching the video. Um, if you are part of a guild, and especially part of a top end guild, okay? Now, I'm not talking about... Um, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, we are the best skilled or this and that, whatever, but, uh, the mentality, what I'm trying to tell you today is, uh, is really valuable in my opinion. Okay. Um, in a top end guild, uh, the focus, the purpose of that guild is to be the best you can be. Okay. And, the, and, and with regards to guild wars, you know, your, your members in the guild and the guild wars, they don't care what rank you get in the arena. Okay. They don't care if you're a legend every time in the arena or conquer one or guardian one or whatever. They want, all they care about is making sure you do what you got to do to improve your Guild War offense to get those wins, to improve your Guild War defense to stay getting those defensive wins, okay? You got to do what you got to do, okay? And even though I would love to be um, up in the top ranks and holding Guardian 2, Guardian 3, like all the other friends out there that I've known for, uh, you know, over almost a year and a half now, um, I know that <clears throat> I need to set the role, I need to set the, the standard for my guild and make sure that the focus is on um, the Guild War's uh, team, so I had to move around some, shuffle around some units, um, some runes that actually worked better on my some of the units that I use in the Go Wars, um, and so it, it kind of worked out okay because I still had these um, um, indoor runes. If you guys remember, these are the indoor runes that I had when I first got Vanessa, and then I made some changes, and then now we're, we reverted back so that I can give those better runes to some of the Guild Wars units in addition to. Um, um, you know, switching out some of those units that use in both Guild Wars and Rifting so I can get the better stats um, to improve these runes that I have here. Um, speaking of which, da, 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 I think I'm gonna, yeah, I got a couple of speed. Oh, okay, I only got one speed here. Um, yeah, okay, well, we're gonna come back to that because I have a lot of things to update. But, um, okay, Shiwa. Shiwa is up next. Um, no changes here, Violent Revenge, Attack damage attack i definitely love these sub stats that i'm getting here overall really really nice i wish i had a little bit more crit damage but the rune is only five star whatever um <clears throat> since she's the leader skill she we use the leader skill on her for the uh for the uh uh what's it called for the rifting no i'm sorry ne necropolis b10 we use the leader skill here so she gives a lot more attack power to herself as well as all my other fire damage healers and so overall her damage is really really good uh, hitting for over 30k on this one on the defense broken unit on the necropolis so really really strong now now i i don't want to spoil everything but i rest assured that there is going to be some pvp action with shiwa um believe it or not i do find value in a unit that has the ability to uh, a unit that has um is is based up as a single target damage healing unit and has the ability to sleep an enemy for two turns i feel that uh people are undervaluing this particular skill um, especially when it comes to certain Guild War offense compositions that are focused on one-shotting opponents or focusing on one unit versus like an AOE Wombo Combo. So you heard it here first, okay? I'm going to bust out a Guild War video for you, but if you see anybody bust it out, okay, it's because they watch this video. You know what I mean? Okay? It's, there's, there is potential in it. People ain't seen it, but I'm going to show you, okay? Watch out. Here it comes. All right. Boom. Got him. That's your sneak peek for today. Chloe, no changes, swift energy, speed, hit point, hit point, um, nothing really to say there, I wish I can, uh, <clears throat> you know, improve the units, runes, but honestly, um, I use her a little bit in the Guild Wars, you know, to Theo like a combo to prevent the first turn, but honestly, I don't use her as much as I thought it would, and I told you guys, like, in the last month or two before I got her, like, you know, I was excited to get Chloe, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like a game changer for me, um, there's nothing... I mean, one one turn, one trick pony with the with the fanatic. Um, it is nice to have you know her combination with Jameer, running like quad Lucians. But my double Lucian combo with Bernard and Megan is already stronger than that. So that's what I normally use. Ardella. Uh, oh my God, Ardella! Ardella does it again. Y'all remember her? This was my um, this was this was my like sniping unit um, back in 2014 in the summer. I did not have the big baller shot caller units that everyone had, so I used the six star Ardella to snipe everybody. Now. 
I'm not using her in rifting, even though I know she is um, very, very strong. But um, I wanted to ruin her up for the world boss so that I can show you guys um, some stuff. All right, and we're back once again. Uh, Ardella, so yeah, we're not going to be using her in the rifting. Um, definitely not anytime soon. Uh, I would love to use her, but I just don't have um the extra runes that i want to primarily focus her on my goal is to have consistent and clears over the quick clears for now when i want to improve the the, the quick clears then i will definitely you know incorporate her because her her ability to you know give you that attack um attack uh break on the first skill plus the ability to do damage based on the the amount of harmful effects is really really strong it does a lot of damage but um i have two other mini units that um uh provide you know just as much support or value into the thing and have the stats that i want okay her her hit points unfortunately are pretty darn low uh as far as the base stats so i really have to make up for that in runes and 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 to find a hybrid combination right now it's not my priority so but rest assured i will play around with her because again her skills allow her to to have some value um in the rifting so next one up uh jameer yeah buddy okay so again like I said it in the last video, my last rifting video, um, I'm super excited to, uh, you know, have some have a purpose for Jameer. Jameer was basically resetting my Lucians for Secret Dungeon for months, literally for months, and now there is a reason for me to actually focus, um, you know, better runes on him. Um, so as you can see, uh, I made a change for the better, much better uh, change, uh, making sure I had a little bit of speed, a um, little bit of defense, um, and a little bit of crit rate. If you notice, all the runes. Um, with the exception of the three slot have a little bit of crit rate um, and and uh, you see it a lot with a lot of people bringing their the rifting units out there they're actually focusing on having uh, an essential amount of crit rate and of course there's many many reasons to go back and forth on it but I, I I personally believe and I know a lot of other people believe that it seems like when we crit we generally have a better chance of landing that harmful effect and so if you're trying to land a substantial harmful effect um, especially for me Jameer trying to break that attack break this is extremely important um, so um, I actually, I ain't gonna lie, I actually focused on just working on the hit points and defense and it so happened that when I played around with the uh, runes on him, I ended up getting uh, the crit rate that I want, uh, which I'm, I'm really happy about. 50% crit rate is, is good, is good. So um, yeah, buddy, nothing really to say there. Um, if anybody has a Jameer and is trying to, you know, utilize him in the R5, um, in various compositions, uh, if you're concerned about you know him not being able to stay alive, this and that, whatever. I see a lot of people going defense, defense, HP, or HP, defense, HP. I do just fine with one defense HP rune. I have no issues at all. Um, and, but th that being said, in R5, I bring four healers um, with me. Uh, so if you're using Jameer plus three healers, the reset is nice. You can get away with a little bit more. But just to be on the safe side, I do, I do bring in four healers um, plus... Uh, Jameer plus Hua. So that's my team. Um, all right. Yeah. Lucian time. Lucian time. So no changes. If you guys remember a long time ago, I had that vampire set I've always had. Try to make it work for whatever units I can, but I never could. And so I just took that vampire set to put it on um, Lucian because that vampire set gave me the speed subset that I want without sacrificing speed on run. So you see a lot of um, top players out there, Guardian 2, Guardian 3 players out there, they have their speed, speed illusions at 180 speed or whatever, which is good, um, but you'll see their attack power um, really take a, a, a turn for the lower, um, and it's because they have to, you know, force a speed rune on 2 in an effort to get the speed that they want. Um, my speed is not perfect, I do need a little bit more speed, but the, um, with, with the composition that I have, it, this, the, the illusions never, at this particular time, my illusions never get um, cut in between. Uh, I have enough speed on my Bernard and Megan to get the jump, um, but um, overall, I'm really happy with this. Again, it, this whole putting the vampire set on here um, really does not, you know, my goal is not to have vampire set on here, right? I just, these are good, you know, these are good runes, okay? Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, sound cocky, but the, the combination of these runes gave me the speed, the crit rate, the crit damage that I want, you know, so I can get the job done. Um, let's see here. Uh, Lucian, okay, so that Despair Blade set that you saw on my Charlotte video, that was Lucian's, okay, and there is a reason for me to strip that off Charlotte, okay. I need, um, I need a failsafe device when I am doing my double Lucian's and I don't kill everybody. So having the opportunity to stun with my AoE is very, very strong. Um, so that's what I do. Uh, now, I'm, now I'm continuously 
trying to improve my attack, you know, hit points, um, you know, whatever I can do. Hey, do I have a, uh, okay, I don't have an attack. I was sitting there waiting to, to improve that there, but uh, I just have the uh, convert. But, yeah, just try to improve the, 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 the attack power, the speed, so I can get it up a little bit more, do some damage, but have the opportunity to stun. Um, overall, these stats are right where I want them to be. Um, 2,500 attack, 150 crit damage. Uh, 2,600 attack, 170 crit damage. Um, this one here, ooh, excuse me. Uh, this one here, uh, hitting. You know, when I'm, you know, when I got the uh, attack buff from Bernard, uh, from Megan, and Bernard's leader skill, I'm hitting for uh, eight and a half to nine k per card with these stats right here. So that that can kind of give you a ballpark as far as what you're looking at. Uh, Lucian, I'm sorry, Lucian failed. Delphoi, um, rocking violent nemesis. As I said before, uh, speed, hit point, defense. Uh, she is my other unit that I use on a front line um, with Jameer. Um, these are my two units, Jameer and Delphoi. And then I have my backup units on the back for R5. Uh, Chisun, Colleen, Bella, and Hua. Uh, 1363, 1365 defense is pretty decent. It does a good job. I still, I still run smooth things, but I need to improve the stats. Um, I'm, I'm always trying to get, you know, get in that, you know, 1500 defense mode uh, if I can. Um, and that just comes down to improving the units, you know, maxing out a few runes or whatnot. I mean, if I had a better rune here, I probably would max it out to get the little extra defense. But right now, my, my money is low, so I can't upgrade the runes that I want. Uh, okay, next one up, Chisun. Violent Endure, okay. Uh, hit point, hit point, hit point reason why I'm going triple hit points is because I got the speed that I want. The speed is, as you can see right here in my arena defense comp, um, is at the exact amount of Vanessa, but Vanessa will go first. So I wanted to make sure that uh, Vanessa always goes first and Chisun goes next so that um, uh, if if, uh, if somebody were to die, if Theo or Ryan were to die in my comp and Vanessa revives, then Chisun goes right after and uses her Fallen Blossoms um, to get the job done if it's available. If not heal, okay, but generally the phone blossom will be there. Um, let's see, okay, so next one up, we had ourselves Brian. Brian was changed around. If you guys remember, he was Despair Revenge, but he was speed, hit point, hit point. Now he's hit point, defense, hit point. Um, obviously, you know, made some changes um, so that I could use him in the rifting, but he is not in my rift um, composition anymore. And I, and, I, and I made a comment about that. You know, I think... That if you are lacking on hit point disturb or attack debuff, then yes, the Death Knights are going to be you know a great unit to have in there. Um, Diaz, of course, is is probably one of the top units to do as far as Death Knights go. But if you have the hit point disturb and the attack debuff that you want, which I do, I have mine from Colleen and Jameer. Um, I don't I don't see any value in bringing Brian unless you you know are at a position where you're you're constantly randomly dying all the time. And if you're constantly randomly all the dying all the time, that you need a bring some kind of reviver then that means you need to change your composition because you shouldn't be dying um all of that i mean rng is going to play a role but rng is not rng every single turn you know what i'm saying um so yeah uh, that's what it is all right oh man so i'm super excited to show you guys today um you know when we were talking about using bernard uh maybe a month ago or so um we were sitting um at about 240 to 245 um speed and i'm happy to to show you guys today that I have been able to improve him all the way up to the 275 mark and I and I oh man it, you know what I'm saying it makes you feel so good um to continuously grind day in and day out because everyone you know you get you get frustrated because you don't get the stuff that you want but then you play around with different units and runes compositions to get the stats you want I stripped this whale rune off of uh, Megan um I found this guard rune in you know two and a half weeks ago and just you know was fortunate enough to get um max uh um, bonus on the, uh, the the grindstones that I put on them. In addition to that, um, did get this rune a long time ago. Resistance rune, right? Uh, sucks. But I had 17 speed on it, and I had 16 um, percent hit points. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't have. I'm getting you know 56 accuracy throughout all the runes. I was rocking an accuracy rune here because I use this in my giant speed 10 combo. I can still you know, have a decent amount of accuracy without an accuracy rune, might as well use it, right? And so now 90% resistance, 50%, 56% accuracy. So it is nice to have um, the accuracy that you want, the hit points, the speed that you want, and resistance, right? It's not it's not like it's needed, um, but it's definitely nice. So, okay, uh, next one up. 
uh, we have ourselves Charlotte. So Charlotte is, let's see. So Charlotte, um, again, she was, for the Charlotte video, she was rocking this displayer display, uh, display blade set. Um, you know, 2400 attack, 150 crit damage. Now we made a little bit of a change, a little bit of a change because I needed that despair on set. Now we got a despair blade set on her, but it's a little bit different. Speed, crit damage, attack. And again, um, these stats are going to improve because I'm going to eventually get this, uh, this blade rune maxed out and moved over to, uh, move over to uh, her. But the thing of it is, is that I think that until I can get, until I can get, making sure that I can keep the speed that I want. I need her to have a certain amount of speed and she has enough speed over my Lucians right now. Um, that I want to make sure that I can do it. Right now I've been doing a, just a fun conversation where I'm bringing Galleon, um, Charlotte and another AOE user, you know, whatever user I bring. But lately it's been, um, Lucian, my Despair Lucian, so I can have two Despair units, um, in Guild Wars. But, uh, the goal is to make her... Um, a little bit fast, uh, but not as fast as my Galleon, right? I need my Galleon to go first, and then her to go second, reduce the attack bars, and then have my second AoE nuker um, take him down. Um, in addition, uh, because the stats are higher than my Lucians, this will give me the opportunity to come into the arena um, with a different composition. Maybe I can go Charlotte lead with double Lucian and like a Chloe, just for three AoEs or whatever like that. Um, but again... Uh, there's more, I found more value in my uh, Bernard uh, Megan double Lucian combo. That generally gets the job done. But who knows? We're going to play around with it, obviously. Um, and again, her skills are almost maxed. We're sticking with the skills right now. I'm not going to force any more Devil Mons on her because I just wanted to test out her second and third skill. Um, but I am excited to show you guys this and see the stats. Um, now, take note that if you guys didn't see the video, um, with the 2400 attack power um, and the 150 crit damage on her, with the third skill, um, I was doing 30k AOE damage. Um, each hit, each hit was about 10 and a half k damage, um, testing whatnot. So 10, 10 to 11k, really good damage. But again, it's more than just the damage. It is the attack bar manipulation and the glancing hit. Super OP. Okay, so um, nothing else uh, changing here. We got ourselves a violent energy set. Uh, playing around with a little hybrid combination here. HP crit damage, HP little bruiser comp. Um, he had 61% crit rate, but I had to steal a, a rune that had the 8 crit rate um, to put on uh, Jameer. Um, but I have another, I have some more grindstones to improve his crit rate above 60 again. Um, other than that, though, no big changes here. Uh, Belladion, Violent Nemesis. I'm a big fan of Nemesis for all my healers, with the exception of Colleen and the Rift Team. So take note on that, guys. You're always going to see Violent Nemesis on there. Corona, just the broken, well, not broken set, but despair energy using some extra despair runes um, and energy runes to just get the stats that I want. Um, I want her faster than my Lucians when I use it. Um, but there's no, how do I say this? There's no, I don't have any, like, I'm not trying to focus on Corona right now. Corona is a great unit, don't get me wrong. Um, and I like to use him as a tank in the Guild Wars when needed because um, the stats are pretty decent. But he's not. He's not a focus for me right now because I have a couple of the units and combinations that I use. But I do like every now and again to uh, come in there with like a Corona Chloe Devolution combo again. Though I have Bernard, the Bernard Megan is just too strong, too fast to take a you know take advantage of it. So um, no, no runes on Jubel. Um, Veramos. Uh, Veramos is two eleven speed, twenty five k hit points, and sixteen hundred defense. Rocket of Violent Guard. Speed, hit point, hit points with good defense of stats. I'm looking for some grindstones to improve the speeds. Um, I haven't gotten any guard grindstones, so hopefully I can get him in the 220s, you know, here in the next month or so. But I'm, I'm waiting to get those guard speed runes so I can improve that. Um, Jewel Ton, he's done, he's gone, stripped completely uh, for the time being because all the runes that I needed on him were broken down into improving other units for Guild Wars and Rifting. Um, and again, Last but not least is the uh, Basalt rocking the Violent Focus with the speed, I'm sorry, hit point, hit point, uh, defense, and good speed substats. So overall, a really strong component for my um, TOA hard. 84, crit, 84 accuracy gets the job done, and that's pretty much it, guys. No big things here. Uh, Beretta, I still use Beretta, and I have not, again, that's my stubborn, is I'm, I'm, I'm able to clear everything that I do, 
um, you know, clear TOA, normal, clear TOA hard, generally up to like 70 or 80 with a five-star Beretta. Even though I can six-star her um, and make her a little bit tankier, the composition that I bring allows me to not get touched. So there's no point in increasing her base stats if all she's doing is stunning and dotting, in my opinion. Uh, no disrespect to <laughs> anybody that's six-star her, um, but I don't use her for anything else but that. Then my Hua, second Hua, this one's the one that I use for Necropolis B10. Violent Energy, Hit Point, Crit Damage, HP. Um, again, there's no, I mean, the, with with the leader skill from Shiwa, with the um, attack and the, um, the the critical rate boost from um, Chilling, um, her stats are actually pretty good. She hits pretty hard, even at 5 star. Um, but that's pretty much it. We got ourselves Mav that I use every so often um, in, my, in the TOA hard boss compositions. So I use him a little bit there. Oh, I didn't max out that room. Let's get a, let's get a, let's try to do it one time. Fail. Fail. Thank you. Third time's a charm. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> All right. So yeah, violent focus again, allowing me to get the accuracy that I, that I want um, without going accuracy on six. Mind you, this is a little bit low, but it for me, I've I've not had too much issue when I've stayed above thirty percent accuracy. So I ain't gonna lie. Um, the latest and greatest project is gonna be marble. Um, I'm probably gonna take um, Darian's runes and put them on marble um, once I get the crit rate fixed. But um, I'm excited to uh, you know play around with that. Right now, I just took random runes that I've had for months just to slap it on her, him. And I had about seven skill ups, so I went ahead and maxed out, you know, did what I can. Um, but uh, other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing around with Marble way down the road. I'm hoping that, uh, just like I made the prediction um, a month ago or two months ago, as far as having a Rift boss that does um, take in consideration units that have skills based on that en enemy's max HP. Um, I still be believe, even though this first boss did not have anything to do with the max HP, I still believe that it's going to be used way down the road. So I wanted to really do what I can do to get the Guardian rank this last week and uh, and uh, get the marble. Um, speaking of which, I don't even know what they're offering this time. Oh, yeah, Dark Minotaurus. That's nothing there. But, yeah, yeah, I had a, I had a fight myself uh, pretty darn hard to get that rank 209. It was a struggle. Um... <laughs> because people kill me as quickly as I kill them, but it was it was exciting um, to get it. I definitely am I'm, I'm proud to be a part of the group that did get the marble. Uh, so yeah, yeah, buddy, all right. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you all for tuning in for this long, long video. I know it's kind of long, but I again, if I did not explain the 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 methods to my madness, uh, then this video just showcasing the units and runes wouldn't really do you any good, any value. So. Thank you all for tuning in. It's a pleasure to make these videos for you as always. It's your boy Childish with Childish Plays checking out. Take care and we'll see you next time, guys. We're out.